is quite ironical that people who sing and dance well live a rich and famous life while people who think well, who invent and make our lives easy die poor. For example, Nikola Tesla. The modern world would not exist without his inventions, but penniless is how he died. There obviously are exceptions. There are scientists who became more famous than the rock stars. Newton may be one of the most important and influential people to have ever lived. Albert Einstein is arguably one of the most recognizable figures of the 20th century. Some physicists during the nuclear age also achieved a near rock star reputation. For example, Feynman. In our modern age, there are many rock star scientists that I admire and one of them is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Tyson has an understanding for his subject, yes, but he also gets his audience. He oversimplifies concepts for the understanding of an average person, which I feel is not an easy task. Tyson is funny, cheeky and a great communicator. I loved his remake of Carl Sagan's TV show, The Cosmos, and I'm eagerly waiting for season two. Here are some great books by Neil deGrasse Tyson that I highly recommend. Death by Black Hole. This book is a collection of essays that Tyson wrote for Natural History magazine over a 10 year period on a variety of subjects related to science and scientific inquiry. Tyson's perspective and his voice always makes his books stand out from the crowd. Origins, 14 billion years of cosmic evolution. This book covers an enormous period of time, 14 billion years, and even provides some interesting thoughts concerning the future of our planet and galaxy. The theme of this book is clear. It deals with the origin of the universe, the various types of galaxies, the formation of the clusters, all the types of stars, the origin of the planets, and life in general. It concerns itself with the vague topics like dark matter, dark energy, black holes, and all the mysteries of the universe. Astrophysics for people in a hurry. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. The book is exactly what it claims to be, astrophysics for people in a hurry. Make no mistake, it is not even scratching the surface, but only tickling it. It's a great book for teenagers too. And it is high time that now Tyson writes for people at leisure. Space Chronicles Facing the Ultimate Frontier Tyson illuminates the past, present and future of space exploration and brilliantly reminds us why NASA matters now as much as ever. These are my recommendations of Neil deGrasse Tyson's books. I hope you like them. Astronomy over Astrology, Logic over Belief and Science over Religion. Thank you for watching Lifestyle and all that jazz.